Alright boys, it's Change of Play coming to you with a new video here. And today I wanted to do a lore video. And specifically the lore I wanted to touch on was a part of the second dream quest. And this was basically one of the most interesting quests I have ever played. Like, Warframe before didn't have that really big lore connection that um that other players wanted. But recently in the 18.0 patch they added this new quest with some amazing absolutely amazing lore and they touched on one of the most shadowy figures in all of warframe which i'm pretty sure all of you know the stalker and before i get started on the video i just wanted to let you know i will there will be heavy spoilers so if you have not done the second dream quest turn back now uh because there will be a, a fuck ton of spoilers and don't blame me if I spoil something because I told you. I, I straight up told you. So let's get started here. So the Stalker is this shadowy figure that seems to hunt down Warframes. And my and the and in the second Dream Quest it revealed like who he was. It seems that the Stalker was a Tenno, and that's what the Lotus told you. Is that he was a Tenno who became corrupted. But it seems that it, the Stalker is definitely appears to be using the Excalibur Warframe with a few, definitely a few buffs. And as we know from the second Dream Quest, uh, Warframes are walking hunks of metal. And that is exactly what Hun Hao told the Stalker when he says you could cut them down all you want, but they'll just keep coming back. You need to get to the source. And... My question is, is, and what it revealed, when the Stalker went to the Sanctuary and kind of took you out of your pod and was about to fucking wreck your face, he stabbed your Warframe with the war. And you're supposed to be controlling the Warframe as the Tenno. But your Warframe seemed to have moved with a mind of its own and took the war out of itself. So my question is, can the Warframe act without the Tenno Operator? Which brings to the question of what the Stalker is. Because if the Stalker came corrupted by the idea of the Sanctuary, my theory, my personal theory, is that the Stalker is actually just a conscious Warframe. It's a walking hunk of, of metal. And my reason for that being is... Is that if he was a Tenno with this cause, he if you're a Tenno, you know you're controlling the Warframes. Like it's like it's it's apparent. You just don't know where you're controlling them from or how you got there. So what I think happened is that the Tenno operator brought the Stalker back to the sanctuary where the uh, Tenno are hidden to operate the Warframes, and it essentially he just turned him insane and he grew a consciousness of his own and killed his Tenno operator and that is my personal opinion on on why the stalker seems to have seems to hate Tenno and then a, another thing is um how Is how the um, stalker came to Hun Hao. As we know, Hun Hao is a sentient. And so is Lotus. Which is the daughter of Hun Hao. But it appears that, that Lotus cannot track the stalker at all. And she is a sentient with amazing power. And if Lotus the sentient can't track down Hun Hao. Can't track down the stalker. How can Hun Hao track down the stalker? So how could Hun Hao even remotely get to the Stalker to give him advice and knowledge of the Sanctuary on the Moon? And so what I think is the Stalker came to Hun Hao instead. It's just a speculation. I'm not sure if it's entirely true, but that's what I think makes sense. And second thing is, how did the Stalker locate the moon when it was hidden in the void? Because 
Tower Gore uh, said that the moon was destroyed in the Great War. But apparently, Lotus hid the moon in the void. I don't know how the fuck you staged the moon's death. That's some amazing ass shit. I mean, if the moon just flat out disappeared, I'd be like, oh, where the hell did the moon go? But I, I don't know how she did it. She must have been a battle close to the moon and she staged like some miraculous explosion of of some catastrophic caliber and everyone thought the moon was destroyed and that's where the Tenno Sanctuary was. But how did the Stalker find the moon in the void? The Stalker's plan, if you put the second June quest, was to crush the moon with, um, with the weight of the void. Use the weight of the void to crush the moon. And that's why the, um, that is why Lotus uh, had to pull the moon out of the void. And, and at that point, the Stalker was able to get to you and wreck your face and wreck Lotus's face. Before your um, before your Warframe broke the war and drove the Stalker off, and then a, another theory is where is the Stalker going to do next? Like, why does he have a deep hatred for Tenno just because he found out about the Sanctuary, or was it more of the fact he has a date a deep hatred for Tenno? It's because he was just a puppet being controlled by an by a being of of random sort. Which I, I would understand why. He would be slightly angry. About. You know being controlled. But is is that really a valid. A valid reason to just hunt down. All Tenno. Or when Hunt House says. Is that he wants to. Like. In that. In the stalker. Changing the. Changing the uh, ref of uh, point of reference here, in the Stalker Codex, it does mention the Orkin, and we all know the Orkin were destroyed by the Tenno in the Great War, and that is why the Sentients created the Tenno was to destroy the was to destroy the Orkin. So, in my question, is the Stalker an Orkin in a Warframe armor? It it's possible. Is he somehow related to the Orican and is using the power of the Warframe against the Tenno? But even if, how, if he was an Orican, how would he have any knowledge at all of the Sanctuary and its powers? That is the main question. Because the Orican had no knowledge of the Sanctuary, and if they did, the Tenno would have been destroyed in the Great War. And there would there would be no stalker to begin with. So, that is my theory on the stalker and the second dream quest. Uh, leave a comment at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any more theories about the stalker, feel free to comment below. Thank you.